Yesterday, we reported that some U.S. evacuees from China will be heading to Camp Ashland for quarantine. Today, the Department of Defense confirmed that, saying housing support will be available for 75 people. Reporter John Kipper tells us how they plan to arrive in the state. Jenny, the CDC said on a media call today the flight with U.S. passengers will arrive at Epley Airfield sometime tomorrow. From there, they'll be screened by the CDC before going to the Army National Guard facility. I think it's premature to comment on whether it's slowed down, but we do believe that we have a window of opportunity now to prepare the United States. The Centers for Disease Control say they are preparing for a pandemic and hoping it isn't one. They said today that the number of confirmed cases of the coronavirus remains at 11 with all infected patients doing well. They're hoping to keep it that way, quarantining Americans that were in the Wuhan area in China in four locations, including the National Guard base Camp Ashland, which sits just around 20 miles from Omaha. It was based on our understanding of the location that they came from and our, um, our calculation of their risk of getting this novel coronavirus and the potential risk of them passing it on to their families and their communities. A Nebraska Medicine spokesperson says the passengers are expected to land in a remote and isolated parking area. And an Epley Airfield spokesperson says in a statement, no passengers from this flight will be traveling through the public terminal at Epley Airfield. The arrival of this flight will have no impact to normal passenger and flight operations in Omaha. From there, they'll be taken to the base for a 14-day quarantine. Once there, they will not be allowed into common areas like the dining hall, but sensible arrangements will be made for the guests to get fresh air. They have housing units, and I think that they are um, um, going about daily lives there the best that they can. I understand from the folks on the ground that, in general, um, they are grateful to be home and have been very cooperative, but we know it's not an easy thing we're asking them to do. Now, the Iowa Department of Health announced today that they're testing two individuals and have isolated them from the public. Those results will come in the next few days, and they would not say exactly where those people are located. Reporting in the studio, John Kipper, Free News Now.